Aloha. My name is Darren Lerner, and I am the director of the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program, otherwise known as Hawaii Sea Grant. Hawaii Sea Grant supports an innovative program of research, education, and extension services directed toward the improved understanding and stewardship of coastal and marine resources of the state, region, and nation. This is Hawaii Sea Grant podcast number 11, DNA Detection. Aloha, my name is Rachel and I'm a communication specialist at Hawaii Sea Grant. Welcome to our 321 podcast. This podcast features research supported by Hawaii Sea Grant. Each episode highlights a new project and the people that make that project possible. I'll ask these researchers to define three words commonly used in their research, give them two minutes to explain how their research benefits communities here in Hawaii, and end by asking them to provide one thing they know about each other other than their research. So, three words, two minutes, and one thing. It's a three, two, one podcast. We're learning about coral reefs in this podcast, and here to share their research are Brian Bowen and his graduate fellows, Cassie Lyons and Michael Hoban. Let's start by introducing yourselves. Aloha. My name is Brian Bowen, and I'm a researcher at Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology. Hi, I'm Cassie, and I'm a graduate fellow in the UH Marine Biology graduate program. Hi, my name is Michael Hoban, and I'm also a graduate fellow in the UH Marine Biology graduate program. So three phrases you use a lot in your research are coral reefs, biomonitoring, and environmental DNA. Can you explain what these words mean? Coral reefs are diverse marine ecosystems that are characterized by reef building corals. They protect our coastline from the open ocean conditions such as waves and storms. They are beautiful and therefore attract tourists to the area and they also provide food and resources for local communities. Essentially every kind of animal that exists in the world except for one lives on a coral reef. So that gives you a sense of how biodiverse they are. And what about biomonitoring then? Biomonitoring is when scientists inventory what's on the reef and determine whether the reef is healthy or whether it's under some kind of stress. The traditional techniques are swimming over the reef and recording everything you see. But we know that what you see is only a small fraction of what actually lives in the reef. This is especially a concern near cities and other human populations that may be stressing the reefs. And how does environmental DNA fit into this? So environmental DNA is a relatively new technology that we are going to use for biomonitoring, in fact. When you have organisms that live in the sea, they constantly shed bits of themselves. All of these things contain DNA. What we can do is we can take the DNA out of the seawater, this free-floating DNA, and use it like a barcode to identify the organisms that it came from. So much like a barcode in the supermarket identifies a specific product, this DNA is a specific sequence and it identifies a specific species. Much like in traditional biomonitoring, where you go underwater and you visually count all the things that you can see, what this does is it gives us a snapshot of all of the things that are in the water shedding material. In particular, this is gonna be small things, largely invertebrates, that live hidden in the reef or swimming in the water column that you just wouldn't see uh, using traditional methods. So one of the great things about environmental DNA, particularly in tropical waters, is that DNA is a good food source for bacteria. Hmm. And so bacteria love to eat it when it's floating around. What's been shown is that in tropical waters, like we have here, low nutrient waters, bacteria will often eat DNA molecules within about 24 hours. So when we are getting DNA out of the water, we can be fairly confident that what we're pulling is, is a recent snapshot of what is there, sort of both locally in space and as well as recently in time. All right, well tell me in two minutes or less how your research benefits the communities here in Hawaii. Coral reefs are important culturally and economically to the local communities, and so assessing the health of the coral reef ecosystem is important to management of those areas. By sampling environmental DNA above the reefs, we hope to detect when stress is occurring that is not yet apparent just by looking at the reef. 
when the little creatures in the reefs start disappearing, it's like they're the nuts and bolts of this ecosystem. And when they start disappearing because of stress, it means bigger problems are ahead. Kind of like a canary in the coal mine. <clears throat> exactly like a canary in the coal mine. This will tell us there's a problem before it's a catastrophic problem. So what we're hoping to do is add this tool that will allow us to capture more of the diversity on the reefs slightly more, more rapidly and with a higher fidelity. Well, that's a wrap, but before we go, we want to ask you, what's one thing, Brian, that you know about Cassie other than her research? I know Cassie's family has been here a long time, and I've seen film footage of her great-grandfather, who was an expert fisherman here on Oahu, biting the head of a fish, which is a compassionate way to prevent the fish from suffering after it's been captured. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. How about for Michael? What I know about Michael is that he spent a considerable amount of time in Antarctica. Not looking at corals, I assume. No. <laughs> well, waste management technician was my official, my official appointment my first year there. Uh-huh. Okay. He, he was their electronics whiz. Oh, I see. Okay. In addition to the trash. <laughs> All right. And how about you, Cassie and Michael? What's one thing you each know about Brian other than his research? I know that Brian hiked the Appalachian Trail. The whole thing? 2,140 miles. That's a long way. Usually it can be done in five months, but it took me six months because I had a fishing pole with me. Can't separate you from your fish. How about you, Michael? Uh, I know that Brian, as a native New Englander, is a big fan of the Red Sox, to the extent that I have seen him in the water with his Red Sox t-shirt uh, diving, because he'll never wear a wetsuit. So his uh, diving outfit often consists either of his Red Sox t-shirts or one of his many trusty tie-dye shirts. All right. Well, stay tuned for our next podcast and mahalo for listening. Aloha. 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 This Hawaii Sea Grant 321 podcast featured three songs, Happiness by Bensound.com, Ukulele by Bensound.com, and Cute by bensound.com. Find them on iTunes and bensound.com.